I never ride my bike on a bike path. It drives my husband crazy, but I don't. I want to experience the city when I'm on my bicycle, and I want to understand its history and think about what its future could be. The reason we're riding down Spring Grove Avenue today is that this is the industrial corridor that was developed in the late 1800s and early 1900s that served our city and our region very well for nearly 100 years. We had a very, very high concentration of industry here with an enormous number of jobs and national and international prominence of the companies that settled here. Companies like Juergens, Kahn's, Powell Valve, and Lunkenheimer provided factory jobs fueling city business districts and central city functions and services. But over time, the heyday of our early manufacturing eroded. Many of those companies left. They were sold, they went out of business, they needed to grow and there wasn't space for them here, so they moved someplace else. Some of the companies kept their corporate headquarters but moved their manufacturing someplace else. And the real estate then becomes less valuable. Rents fall, sales prices fall, and what you get are low-value businesses. You see car impound lots, auto parts stores, self-storage. 50 years ago, if you rode your bike down this street, you would have seen thousands and thousands of employees packed in all of these old buildings. So you'll see as you go through here that there aren't that many buildings that are empty, but there are a lot of buildings and a lot of acres of land that are being underutilized significantly. As many of you know, I spent 10 years in the commercial real estate business. I learned a couple of very important things during that time. One of them is that highest and best use is the ruling doctrine. We have to be wary of areas where there's too much idle real estate, and I think we have to be scared to death of places where the real estate is being underutilized. You can see the two Class 1 railroads that we still have. You still see the Mill Creek. Later, I-75 went through, and even 74 just north of here, all punctuated by the Ohio River. We have an enormous infrastructure here, and it lays waiting to be utilized again. When I look at the buildings along this route, I see opportunity. Now is a time for a reawakening of manufacturing. It will be radically different than past recoveries. The landscape is different, and the skills required in manufacturing now are much more technical. But the foundation remains and is right here. Underutilized properties and land that are just waiting to be transformed and repurposed strategically and for the highest and best use. We must put our real estate back to work and that begins with disrupting the market and investing in our future. I don't have roots from Cincinnati's legacy of manufacturing, but I can help shape and influence the future. That's why we're here today and why I wanted you to see what I see. We have the right equation, it's the right time, and we can make this happen. The Greater Cincinnati Redevelopment Authority is devoted to putting real estate back to work for everyone in Hamilton County.